Are you guys doing anything quantitatively to look at the bone quality based on the plain x-rays or based on the CT scan? Well, I guess most of the time, no. Um, if it's somebody that's got really bad bone quality, I might get a bone density study or something like that. Um, but I, I think what I'd be thinking, and if you wind up going to a reverse um, with metal fixation, it's been my experience that the bone quality, even if it's not that great, you can usually pull it off reasonably well. And in fact, in this patient, uh, I thought her cuff muscles were a little atrophy, but less than I would have thought uh, on the CAT scan. So she might have the amount of, she, her, her amount of deformity, I'm, I'm an augment guy. I don't like bone grafts. I used to, but I don't anymore. Um, and this might be more than you can take care of with an anatomic augment. I'd have to put it in the planner, but it's, this one's certainly at the outer limits. Um, and so I think if you're going to wind up doing a reverse, and I wouldn't have a problem telling her, uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily order an MRI scan. I don't, I wouldn't mind telling her, listen, you know, I was thinking about an anatomic when we first saw you because that's what I favor. I think they work better. And, you know, if she's got 60% function, she's going to have 70 after a reverse. She might have 90 after an anatomic. So the bottom line is I'm now thinking a little bit more towards reverse because I agree with Jed. I think this was a traumatic injury, which probably does tell you something about her bone quality. Um, and it's pretty bad. Um, okay. I, you know, I'd have to put and load it up on the planning software and see what it looks like, but I'm less enthusiastic about an anatomic than I was. And I'm an anatomic, anatomic guy. I think everybody knows that.